Hi everyone, as we greeting in Taiwanese, Jabawe. Uh, I'm Abi Zheng. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a prawn tempura. First thing you need to do is to prepare your prawns. Today I'm gonna show you how to prepare from this to this. Get the one prawn as you can see like that. First thing you can just should take tear the head off, or you can use a knife either way no problem okay but be careful as you can see there is a little liquid inside okay then the head is already off again keep it in the bowl you don't want to throw it away even the shell because this is very good to preparing the prong oil the next video I'm gonna show you how to prepare the prong oil it's very nice to use a lot of the cooking all right now all we need to do just take a prong shell off like this okay there we go okay now remember to keep the tail for the presentation okay now okay this time I'm gonna show you the tail as you can see you use your knife just squash a little as you can this color because this is like a it's a lot of moisture I mean the water inside so when the water deep into the oil it gonna be pop it's quite uh, dangerous don't forget this as you can see this part this tip tip part okay also need to squeeze out otherwise you can just cut it directly out then you can make sure the water release when we turn over there is the vent at the back so that we need to take out so now a lot of people just cutting prongs straight away in the middle but today the tip is instead of cutting it right in the middle okay you, just, you want to cut it slightly above all right this is the middle don't cut that slightly above okay like this let me show you okay the slightly above because in the, this tip you can make sure avoid to cut off the you see the sand is the sand stream you understand what I mean if you cut it straight into the middle it's most uh, I would like to say 80% chance always cutting off the strand so it's make it more difficult to take this sand stream out you see if you use that then you can guarantee you don't cut off and much easy to clean this sand stream off right that's a secret tip then turning over again as you can see at the belly there's tenon this tenon is the make the prong when you after you fry it's getting getting bending like that and you know like like this way so this is the key thing you just cutting off into the cup of the part like this right then that I can keep the prong straight away now I'm gonna show how to stretch the prong hmm. all right now you turning the back like this okay all you need to do is just use your three finger like this then squeeze down okay like this squeeze down then breaking to the little part you will feel a little pop okay let me show you so you will hear the sound like this okay you hear it okay right here we go one more time okay last okay that is the ready like that okay then this as you can see the difference from here for making a tempura butter basically the ingredient is so simple water at this time I use the cake flour all right then you the tip is you make, make sure the water is cold use the cold water if you got a water directly from fridge remember not a freezer not a frozen from fridge is good okay this time I'm gonna use the cold water and you need a, a eggs okay directly in okay here we go okay need give the little little better whisk okay in this stage I would like to put a, just just a tiny pinch of the salt okay now okay just need a whisk remember okay very important no matter you add the cake flour 
yet or not don't overworking on your liquid okay just this is fine because we don't want to make a cake so you don't want too much bubbling that is the good for me next we're going to add the cake flour so cake flour is the low gluten so you don't want to use the bread flour so now just direct in to here okay that is good for me and just if you have chopstick or even use a whisk, no problem. But for me, easy way is to use chopstick. Just breaking down like this. Okay. You don't want to over stirring your, your butter. All right. Just like that. Breaking down. Okay. As you can see, my technique is just push down to our liquid. Simple. Okay. Right. Like this. For me, that is good. Okay, as you can see, in this stage, that, as you can see here, a little bit of flour, uh, is still you can see the white flour, no problem. Even better when we going to make a tempura, even better. Okay, that's good. Right, okay, now let's turn on the heat for our oil. Today, I use the canola oil. You can use any cooking oil, but the only thing is not good for tempura is the olive oil right. why are we waiting the oil getting heat up next step what we need is this uh, flour and this is our prong ready you need a, a deep uh, prong to the flour, dry flour first putting the prong into the dry flour can help the, the butter to stick on the prong okay then you can just all like this Rolling into flour and just stand by on the side. Okay. That is right. Just rolling. That is good. Okay, like that. What I normally do is you must prepare everything nearby in your nearby pot. So because why once we start working, it's gonna be very quick process like this. Okay. Let me move down there. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the tempura butter to test our oil temperature. Okay, what is the right temperature to working on that? Now, let me show you. All you need to do is just use your chopstick and just give the one drop uh, to the dip in direct into the oil. Okay, like this, as you can see. As you can see now, this stage, our tempura butter all the way drop down to the bottom of the pot then comes to the service. That means the oil is too cold. It's not ready to serve yet. All right, I'm gonna taste the temperature again. All right, there is the perfect. As you can see, the butter going to the middle way, then start to come to the service. That is the perfect pan temperature. Once it reaches the perfect temperature, what I recommend you doing at home in this stage, just turn our heat into the medium heat because it's much easier for you to work on that. All right, it's the same like uh, my other video. What the secret and the tip to make a butter tempura crumb is like that. Just fry tempura butter straight away. But remember, when you pour in the tempura butter, do not pour in too much amount in the same time. Just use the drop like this. Okay, look. Okay. All right, just just little drop. Use your chopstick, your drop like this. Okay, can you see? That is the, okay. Don't remember to not drop butter too much amount, too much quantity the, at a time, at one time. Okay, that is the crumbs. What are we looking for? It's okay. Get your cell and little like this hole of the strainer. Then grab all your crumb together like this okay let me show you what you can do okay like that grab it then take our temp uh, prong dip into the butter like that okay you can just work on that okay then find our corner of the pot like this okay very gently then lie down look lie down our tempura Prong, then start dip into the oil. Okay, then start rolling. Use this corner, as you can see. Okay, then this. Okay, right. Then let me show you that. 
then you can guarantee our prong can stick all the crumbs. That is the a little trick and little tip to show you how to make the crispy crumb outside the prongs. Okay. Then prong is cooked is very quick. All you need to deep fry in. It just take about one minute. Then it's done. This temperature is about to reach 170 degrees. All right, this is already done. Okay, in one minute later, look how beautiful it is. Right? Can you see that? Okay, then while it's done, then we just into this, rest into our rack. Okay, let me do it again. I'll show you. And this time, I'm going to fry all my three prongs together. Done. Then let's check our oil temperature again. Like this. Okay, perfect. Now let's drip in our tempura butter like this. All right. This time I'm gonna fry three prongs, so I will need more butter. Okay. But remember, do not put the butter too much amount in a one time. Okay. Let it break it out a little bit. Now grab our prong. Ready. Grab our crumbs. Ready, lie down. Okay, use the corner, loading up. That is done. And we can carry on, even the same pot, we can carry on with all the prongs. Okay, can you see that? Ready, then lie down our prongs. Okay, then rolling. Okay, on the corner. But it's fine, and working on this, just quick. All right, this is quick. Then the last one, here we go. Like that, loading. Okay, there is the little tip I'm gonna show you. Okay, the first prong, it's been done ready. As you can see, so beautiful. Let's lie down on the leg. And this second prong also ready. Then you can, let me show you how it's done. Look, when you take out a prong, you see it doesn't burn, doesn't bend, doesn't bending. Okay, that, this one it doesn't bend. All right, it's very keep it straight. All right, like this. Then this prong is done. Okay, now let's start the uh, plating. Okay, it's fine. Okay, first we got. Uh, you can have yourself with uh, one lemon or lime. It's very good. Once we serve, you can see. Now we are ready to plating. Okay, be careful, it's quite hot. Let me show this way. Okay, you see, I think it's better this way. It's more huge. Okay, and second one. And next is the third one. And let's plating into the last one, like that. Okay, see, and we can serve the tempura sauce on the side. If you want to know how to make a tempura sauce, you can check my other video. All right, and in the traditional way, normally they will serve a tiny ground ginger on the side and uh, daikon. But uh, unfortunately, today I didn't get the daikon, so you can just serve a tiny uh, ground ginger on the side. Then once we go to start the serve, you can just pick up the ground ginger, mix into the dipping sauce, then. Enjoy. So there is the prong tempura. Enjoy. So this is my prong tempura. It's very simple and very delicious. For more detailed recipe instruction, please check out our website by following the link below. If you enjoy this show, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Well, I see you next time in Eddie's Kitchen.